Uh, recent reports have revealed that the NSA uh, have access to encryption keys uh, and they paid tech companies to introduce backdoors in encryption protocols. Um, so now we're, we're going to talk about ways in which we can defend ourselves um, against governments spying on us, which is a very weird situation if you think of it. This is not something you'd ever thought possible in a, in a, a modern, enlightened, liberal democracy, uh, but unfortunately it has come to that that completely innocent, bona fide people have to defend themselves against government snooping on them. Surveillance isn't supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be difficult. And what's happening is the methods that are being employed are creating effectively an arms race forcing people who want to have private conversations to develop better and better ways of communicating, more and more secure ways. And unfortunately, what's the, what that means is that both the citizen and the criminal are, be, are using the same method of communication. And that secure method of communication is becoming harder and harder to decipher for law enforcement. And don't for one minute believe that if I cannot, as a democratic, transparent police, secure safety, do you think that other ones will step in? I think they will. There will be loads of private companies who don't ask if they are getting paid, and you want this to go away. But do we want a digital blackwaters on the internet, or do you want a open and transparent police? I think you want the last. But if you want so, we have to balance the debate. And we also have to get ri rid of the root causes for this debate, which is the surveillance of big intelligence agencies on, on uh, people who might not deserve it. We sort of live in the, the, golden, the golden age of surveillance. But in, I've noticed a really interesting discussion point, which is that what people used to call liberty and freedom, we now call privacy. And we say, in the same breath, that privacy is dead. This is something that really concerns me about my generation, especially when we talk about how we're not surprised by anything. It's a generation of total cynical downers in some ways. And I think that we should consider that when we lose privacy, we lose agency, we lose liberty itself, because we no longer feel free to express what we think. And I, I was at a protest recently in Berlin, a Freiheitsstadt Angst protest, where there was a poster of a person who said out loud, yes, but in their head, in a thought bubble, it said no. For all that I'm pleased that this has raised the level of public debate on this and for all that it's opened up lots of questions uh, and for all that it, I hope, will lead towards a more transparent system, I do think there is a grain of truth to this claim that some damage has been done by it. Because if I were a terrorist, I would now have much clearer ideas of how I was going to organise my communication so that the NSA couldn't read it. And I am just slightly worried about that. I hope that the good that comes out of this will outweigh that. But I do think there are, there are some issues about what we have now given to the bad guys in the process of, of revealing all of this.